Hey guys, what's going on? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to a fresh new video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a creative typographic animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. You can download the free project file from the link in the description below and follow along with this tutorial. Now I have created some more variation of this design which you can download for my Patreon page by just contributing $1 to support this channel. So make sure you check it out, the link will be in the description below. So without wasting any time, let's jump into After Effects and get started with this tutorial. So before this tutorial starts, I want to introduce you guys to Create Pack, which is one of the amazing After Effects pack on Video Hive. Over 3600 plus fully responsive animation elements that automatically rescale for your composition, which you can preview and import with just one single click. Dozens of categories with everything you need to create some awesome motion graphics without wasting any time. Download the Create Pack from the link in the description below. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition 1920 into 1080. Let's make this 30 FPS and I'll keep the length to 10 seconds long comp. Call this main as our main comp. Hit OK. Let's create a new composition which is gonna be our text placeholder where we can, you know, edit any text and type in any text that we want to use in the animation. Now, the one thing that we need to do is change the height to 200. All right, and let's call this text. Hit OK. Hit Control Y to create a new solid layer. I'll call this BG for background. Hit OK. And then I can select my text tool and you can, of course, type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in just like the example. Keep it simple and align it into the center. Now, if you don't see this align tab, you can go into windows and click on align to, you know, make it visible. So there we go. There we have our text and for the text, I'm using the monument font, which is an absolutely great font. I'll provide the link into the description from where you can download this free font using the extra bold version of this at 175 um, size. So that is our text and that is pretty much it for our design now let's go ahead and create a new composition let's make this let's make this actually 4k so i'll go and make this 4k change the frame rate to 30 fps and call this cube okay all right so there we have our composition let's drag and drop in our text composition into this cube comp and make it 3d then I'll go into effects and preset and use a really cool effect called motion tile. Let's double click to apply that up and increase the output width just like so. So I'll keep it around. Let's go with 600. Then I'll go into effects and preset and type in offset. Let's double click. And now we can basically animate this just like so. Simple and easy. So let's create a keyframe on the shift center to go at the very end that is 10 seconds and let's drag it out just like maybe that. So now if I preview this, we have this really nice and simple animation. Now let's start building up our cube. So to do that, what we can do is let's actually jump into the custom view. So there we have a custom view. You can hit C to bring up the camera control and then you can just, you know, navigate it very simple and easy now what i'm going to do is make sure you turn on the snapping duplicate this so select this hit control d to duplicate it let's drag this into the z space now i'm going to select this layer and hit p to bring down the position and let's see the position that we want to go with so for now i'm just going to keep it at 200 so we have something like that let's select this again hit control d bring this at the bottom let's change the color to something like aqua so you know it's a different comp hit r to bring down the rotation properties and let's rotate the x property to around let's go with minus 90 and now because we have turned on the snapping i can select this let's select right over here and then we can snap in just like so and there we have a really nice um you know snapping <laughs> anyway so let's just select this again hit Control d 
put this at the bottom hit p to bring down the position and then i can just actually snap this at the bottom as well so i'll select this and snap it at the bottom so now we should have our perfect queue but at the moment we can get a bit of this you know anti-aliasing issue so to fix this what we can do is we can go back into our text composition hit ctrl k to bring up the comp settings and increase the height a bit like maybe 202 hit ok select the background layer go into layer solid settings and make this comp size and now if i go back into my cube comp there we go there we have fixed it and yeah that is what i am looking for so everything is looking good this text is reversed up so what i can do is select it hit s unlink this and let's set this to minus 100 there we go and also we need to fix i think the bottom text as well so let's select that hit s unlink this and let's set this to minus 100 there we go now what i'm going to do is let's jump back into our active camera there we have it let's create a new null object which is going to be our rotation controller i'll align it into the center and to move the anchor point of this null to the center you can hold control and double click on the pan behind tool so it's going to move the anchor point into the center there was a really quick tip for you guys so there we have it let's make it 3d now if i jump back into my custom view select my camera you can see the null is not into the center of our cube as you can see right here so what we can do is hit p to bring down the position and let's move the position of this to i think 200 no it should be 100 yep that is how it's gonna be into the center all right let's jump back into our active camera and call this controller and now we can select all these four layers and parent this to this null object now if you don't see this parent option you can click right here go into columns and turn on the parent and link option and now we can select this hit r and rotate this so you can basically rotate it like so really cool and easy now let's select this one and what i'm going to do is use a really simple effect called tint to give a bit of variation to the design so i can swap the colors i'll copy this Control c select the select this one hit Control v so now if i select the controller hit r and rotate this you get this really cool look as you can see so basically i'm going to animate or add an expression to the x rotation so hold alt and click on the stopwatch and add an expression called times into let's go with 80. so now we have this really simple but very cool looking animation now we can go ahead our base is ready now we can go ahead and start building up our design now the design is going to be absolutely abstract so there is no specific way of designing this you can just throw up some you know comps and just make it complex and i have created many different version of this which you can download for my patreon page by just contributing one dollar and supporting this channel so make sure you check it out the link will be in the description so let's go back into our main composition drag in our cube comp right here turn on the 3d and turn on collapse transformation so now we can scale this down you know and create some really cool looks so i'll hit r to bring down the rotation properties and now we can set this to the way we want it to look so i can maybe something create like this let's increase the scale a bit and it's a as i told you guys it's a pretty abstract effect so you can play around with this all day and come up with your own design so i'm gonna keep it something like that that looks good let's select this hit control d to duplicate it let's hit r and rotate this up you can also push this back into the space so that they don't you know collide with each other like this so i'm going to push this back and let's rotate this a bit something like that you can also scale this down 
there we go now we can turn off the snapping and see looking pretty cool let's create one more copy so it control d to duplicate it let's place it right here rotate this in a way we want it to look there we go and as you can see we're starting building up our really abstract design so i'm gonna hit ctrl d again duplicate this rotate this in a different um position let's um put this back like so and it started to look pretty cool actually now one more thing that you need to keep in mind is that if you want to add a nice drop shadow to create a feel of um you know depth what you need to do is arrange it according to the way you want it on the top like by let, let me explain it to you so let's say this layer is on the top that is very much closer to the camera so i need to keep that layer on to the top then the second layer is going to be let's say this one so this is going to be on the second position this is going to be a third layer third position and fourth position now this is very important because now i'm going to go into effects and let's add a drop shadow so i'll find a drop shadow add that and now if i just um, increase the opacity increase the distance and there we go i'm going to keep it somewhere around there let's bring down the opacity a bit increase the size Let's play around with this a bit now you can see we get a really nice depth and this is very important if you want to make it look really really cool so let's copy this and paste it on the second one hit ctrl v and i'm gonna just move the position to find the right spot just like that let's copy paste it onto the third one let's rotate this to create a perfect drop shadow and there we go so now you can see we have a bit more depth into the scene and it's very easy and simple to create so you can of course type in any text that you want so let's say if i want to add something different so let's replace the text with let's say sale is on there you go you have a really cool look you can also give different colors to create a very interesting look and animation and one more thing let me just show you guys very quick that you can do with this effect is you, you can add a warp effect on this so you can go into effects and preset type in warp double click and now you can create some really interesting looks using this so i can just you know tweak this let's copy paste this second one Control v and let's you know tweak this a bit let's try to adjust the position the way we want and as you can see this looks super cool now you have a pretty different looking design so using this technique you can play around with and create some very interesting looking animation and if so if you create any kind of design using this technique then do tag me on instagram or facebook wherever you want to upload or even on youtube as well you can just share it through the community tab or you can also comment down your links in the comment section of this tutorial i will be more than happy to see what you guys come up with so yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on creating creative typography inside of after effects without using any plugins i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out